everyone. Uh, this is your friend Anime J here. Um, just decided to do a new video saying I have so many new subscribers. Uh, I have some new artwork that I've never shown, um, and I really wanted to sh thank Shinitsu for uh, her shout out. That really brought a lot of you guys to my page, and she's one of the coolest people on YouTube. Um, she's just an awesome friend. Um, I thought I would show you guys some of the artwork that's kind of slipped through videos and never been shown before. Um, and I uh, just thought it would be kind of like a cool treat to you guys, um, especially my new viewers. Um, but this is one that I did probably about like a month ago. Um, as you can see, I like to work in just a lot of pure black and white, um, just, you know, simple inking style. That's kind of uh, where the name two-tone came from. I don't usually use much more than two tones. That's even when I'm coloring, and that's kind of where I got the nickname from artist friends of mine. Um, so as you can see, you're going to notice when I ink, I use a lot of just black and white. I hardly ever use anything, maybe, maybe besides a mechanical pencil, just to separate um, if there's too much white in the picture. Um, but this is the first one. Um, this is a character from Full Metal Alchemist. You'll know it's one of uh, Shin's guards um, when they're still fully masked. Um, this next one here is a picture I did from Battle Angel Alita. Um, it's one of those I'm trying to learn and develop better at doing establishing shots those far away where you draw the character smaller, more background, kind of get everything established. Um, as you can see, this one was this one I didn't think came out too bad. Um, I love doing pictures where it's it, everything's just kind of understated, like as here as you can see that with the shadow and the wind, you don't see any of the face, but it's still pretty dramatic. Um, this was a cool picture. Um, I, in fact, in the future, I want to do some more practice of this style of stuff because it's still, when I'm trying to do originals, it's an area of weakness for me. Um, here's a picture of Roa no Azora. Uh, for a couple of weeks, I was watching One Piece like crazy um, and just decided I wanted to draw some of their characters. Um, this one's not the best. Uh, didn't come out terrible, though. I I've done worse, so not terrible. Uh, just a random picture I found. I really liked the pose and stuff. I wanted to give it a try. Um, didn't come out too bad. Um, it seemed like I was struggling that week between the Rona or Zora picture and this one. I didn't think everything came out the best. But even when you're struggling, you just keep plugging along and trying to learn from your mistakes. Um, as you can see, here's a picture of Nami, uh, which I think came out well. I just think that it's hard to say. I feel like the proportions are drawn out too long. Um, like everything should have been condensed down. But that is kind of the, the, the style that that artist draws with is kind of an elonged legs and arms and stuff so I, I guessing it's it's probably right but for me I would probably shorten everything up if I were doing it myself um, this is a cool picture I really liked all the detail in it um, what really made me do it is the clothing I really 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 stink at drawing clothing out of my head um, so I when I saw this with all the folds and then the minor pants with all the folds I was I just had to give it a try um, you guys have seen this one in my video so I'm not going to cover that one quickly um, here's a picture of Sanji, um, which was colored, and this is once again, as I'm saying, this is where I get kind of my nickname, Two-Tone, is every color on here is nothing but just two tones. The first, so for the hair, there's just a, there's a yellow and a darker yellow. For the skin, it's a skin tone and a darker skin tone, same thing for the shirts. I only use two tones, um, partly because I'm lazy, um, and partly because that's kind of my signature style now is two tones. Um, when it comes to coloring, I'm just not that good at it. Um, I can't say that it interests me so much to learn to color great that I want to learn to do it. I, there's so many YouTube artists on here that do it great, and they can blend six or seven different colors and make it these amazing effects. I just don't like coloring enough to uh, want to learn that. Um, I do some pictures I'll color uh, just because it's a, a skill you need to at least have to be efficient at, um, especially, you know, if you're doing a portfolio book that you want to turn into colleges and stuff, you, you don't have to be proficient at coloring, but you do have to show that you understand basic theories and concepts of shadowing, light, um, that sort of stuff. Um, next one is another one piece picture of, uh, Iron Cage Helena. Um, and as you can see here, I Never saw what the color scheme of her outfit and stuff was. I just kind of chose this out of the top of my head. Um, didn't come out too terrible. Um, it's a pretty good drawing. I like the pose and everything. Um, in fact, the artist that does one piece, I can't say his name because I'll just screw it up, um, does a lot of really cool poses. Um, I know a lot of people make fun of the artwork because it's not as 
realistic as some of the other mangakas, especially uh, like Bleach and Death Note and stuff like that. But um, when you really look at art, you got to take it more than just the face value. And if you notice, he is one of the best at putting his characters and figures into motion. Um, so, you know, next time you look at a One Piece book, you don't have to love the style of art, but just try to appreciate the subtle things on, like, how much motion. You can take stuff like that and then add your sort of realistic details to it. You can learn a lot from everything, even if it's something you're not a fan of visually. Um, and as you can see, here's a drawing of Spitfire um, from Air Gear. Um, if you're not familiar with Air Gear, I definitely recommend checking it out. They have some of the greatest uh breakdowns of anatomy in their characters uh the guy's just awesome at it um once again i stink with feet so when i saw a chance to draw rollerblades i gave it a try and actually these ones came out really good um i like the pose i like the character uh the hair was a little hard to get just because he draws a different style than me but i think it pulled it off okayly decent um but the picture as a whole came out really good i liked it um the next is the not a picture you guys have seen um, here's a picture of Whitebeard. Um, this one's hard to get in, in the frame all at once. Um, I really like this character. Um, when I saw this picture, I just really liked it because it was because it's such a strong character, but at a weak moment, um, all the tubes. It was very designed. It made me really kind of keep up with my art skills to get everything where it needs to be and make sure nothing got lapped over and stuff like that so it was a really cool picture it was a really good try as you can see on this picture i really started playing with line depth of using thicker lines for stuff and thinner lines for different stuff um i think it came out pretty cool i wish i could really get a good shot where you guys could see the whole thing in one but oh well um here's another just classic one piece um i love doing some of this stuff like Chopper is just a really cool character because it's such simple shapes to make Chopper. Um, I love the old school cartoons uh, that do that, like Invader Zim. I notice you guys will see I draw a lot of uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Blues, old Disney stuff. They use simple shapes to build their characters. It's really cool. It's fundamentally just awesome. Um, it's stuff that definitely, if you are an artist, you should practice at least a character once every other day. That's simple shapes like that. It'll keep you, you up. And as you can see, I got Luffy and uh, Rono Zora. Yeah, it was a pretty cool picture. Um, here's one I did of Naruto. Um, once again, this is just... It It looks really good. I actually really like this one, but the, the, sh the coloring is nothing more than two tones again. Uh, it's just an orange and then a light brown. Um, then the black, same thing for the blonde, it's just two, skin tones are two, eyes are two tones. Um, as you can see, you can pull off quite a good amount with just two tones if you just pay attention to shadow, light, um, folds, that sort of stuff. You can pull off a pretty good coloring job. Um, here is the Sebastian picture after I fixed it up a little bit. Um, I know on the video that was posted, uh, it was before, I noticed this face angle was a little weird, so I just drew the hair to cover a little bit more of it. Um, here's another fully colored picture. This is from, uh, the characters from the series Hitman Reborn. Once again, another mangaka that does stuff that I just love. I love the way that he draws out his characters, his clothing, uh, just the style, because it's different than all the other shonens out there, so I really like his stuff. As I don't want to make this video too long, I won't sit on this stuff too long. And, uh, that's, you guys have seen the manga page video, and this is the one I just finished last night. I just got back from, uh, Walt Disney World, as you guys have seen the art contest video, uh, just a l couple of days ago, and, uh, I, when I was first starting drawing, I loved drawing Disney stuff, so, uh, as a throwback right now, I'm gonna do some just classic Disney drawings, just, you know, cause you gotta draw what you feel. Um, and this is one that I did Snow White. I did the character. I really liked it. I inked it up. It came out really good. So I decided to add a border to fill up the page and just kind of make this this pop. Um, and this the, the whole border is out of my head, um, which is amazing because I really usually stink at this stuff. So I'm glad I didn't mess up the draw in doing that. Um, but that's all the artwork that you guys haven't seen on this channel. Um, now for a last request, saying I have all these new subscribers because you guys rock. Um, I want you guys to send me some questions. I want to do an introduction video where I can answer questions you guys have. I can relate to art, um, just questions you want to know about me, silly, funny questions. 
uh, anything you guys want. Um, I did this in a previous video, and I only got one question, um, which I'll be answering. Um, but now that I have more subscribers, um, I want to you know get some questions and kind of uh, anything you guys want to ask at all. Like I said, it could be art related, personal related, funny related. Uh, just ask it in the comments below, and that'll be the next video. All right, guys. See you then.